Good morning everybody and welcome back. Now, oh, what a night, what a night. Now if you uh, are privileged enough to come camping with me, uh, you will know that I've mentioned before <laughs> swimming goggles. <laughs> a weird uh, thing to think about when you're in the middle of the woods. But not necessarily. Because last night I was uh, sleeping, or attempting to sleep, on the other side of this big log next to this fire. And I had my tarp up here, as you probably might have saw from the previous video. I, I can't remember now. Hmm. Whether I recorded before I got everything set up or I recorded after. But anyway, my tarp's over there drying now. My my ground sheet's up in the, in the tree. Uh, I got smoked out, so I ended up in there. And then I ended up in there <laughs> but i've got an area tidied up i've had my breakfast you can see i've got some more char cloth on the go in that tin there i'm boiling the amadou still because i didn't get to beat it last night and it's gone rock hard again and i've got some norwegian spruce which you can see in that bag tea on the go so i'll have a drink of that and uh, i'm getting ready for my 10 o'clock class so Everything's all right at the minute. I've got my bag out. I've just got my bushcraft bits and bobs in. We'll go and take a look. Uh, got some chaga, birch bark. Uh, I've been making char cloth, which is in there. I've got jute twine. I've got ferro rods. I've got files there for striking flint. Some cups for knit tea. Folding saws and gloves so we can teach him how to find fat wood but uh, I'm going to say bye bye now because I think uh, one of the staff's coming up on the Kubota oh no it's, fly it's flying past it's alright it's going up to the lake I thought if he was coming to chat with me this morning I'd uh, I'd uh, stop recording so well it's a lovely setup and I'm looking forward to coming back another day and I might bring a tent that time and bring some more roll mats uh, so I've got a bit more comfort even though I was on the sand it was like you know it's nothing's like your own bed I mean my bed's an orthopedic mattress so uh, my in-laws got it me when I did my back in because um, it's like a, a foot thick it's really good so going from that to sleeping on sand on something this thick and if I can show you, where are you? Where are you? It's somewhere. There's an hole in it somewhere. <laughs> I'm trying to show it you. <laughs> yeah, there's an hole in it somewhere. But I can't find it now. Oh well, don't matter, but yeah. It's been repaired a few times and then, it, then the guy gave it me at a bushcraft show last year. And he says, do you want it? Otherwise I'm going to bin it. And I thought, oh yeah, because it's still got sponge in it, it's still some insulation. And I have chucked it in my hammock before. And uh, and it's just just enough to keep that chill off, depending on the temperature. So, I'm going to get this amadou out of here in a minute and beat that. Uh, what time are we on? Oh, it's quarter to nine, so I better get cracking. I'll get a quick look at the shelter. I could have covered it in leaves, but I thought now I like it how it is. And as you can tell with the wet ground here, and you look in there, it's bone dry. Wet ground, you see the line, bone dry. So, shelter works. <laughs> of course it works. I'm Simon Outdoors. I'll, I'll quick spin you around to say cheerio. I'm getting, I'm getting smoked out stood here, so we'll move to the side. All right then, well thanks for joining me again. Yes, Simon Outdoors is back now. Uh, yeah, there's still stuff going off with family. But I'm back. Uh, I'm working, so obviously videos will be weekends. Maybe I have a night at work like this. Something like that. So, uh, but yeah, stay tuned. And at the end of the month, I'll be drawing the, the winner for the Ferro Fire survival tool. Uh, I'm going to speak to my friend at No Limits Ad Survival Adventure um, and get that one sorted for 
the other 600 subscriber competition prize. Okay, time to go. Bye bye for now.